very much like able to be content with my thoughts, content with myself. And I feel like that's super important in a human is being okay with being alone. Some people that terrifies them. It's fun going after a difficult task and be like, yo, how can we figure this shit out? How are we gonna get this done? And kind of game planning day by day, it keeps you driven. It keeps you focused on something. Well, what else can I do? What else can I accomplish? You always hear you can do anything you put your mind to, but it's not as just easy as that. You gotta obsess over it. You gotta be hooked on this shit. If you're driven enough, and if you want to do something enough, go all in, obsess over it, don't hide it, don't be mysterious about it, shout it from the fucking rooftops, shoot a documentary about it, tell everyone that this is me, this is who the fuck I am, this is what I stand for. Yeah, baby. Yeah. That was him, man. That was not. Oh wait. Oh, okay. That was him, man. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, the, the, the guy that just left is the guy that just is eating. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. This charge? Yes. Yeah. 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 Are you keeping your shoes? No. Or it's just swap. We've been swapping swap a little bit with your waist okay. too. Okay. Um, I gotta figure out my waist. I'm starting to chafe. I need that baby powder. It's pretty fucking gnarly, to be honest. There, there's nothing in the rules. You can't do a number six. No extra charge. We'll let you do six to the bridge. Is that for the waistline? We'll give you a backwards. You're gonna catch him. just left. Like, literally two nights Okay. He knows, he knows you're on the We have three. Nothing else matters at all besides finishing. Just let it go, let it out. Everything is This is fucking yours, man. This is the fucking war. This, this, this is, you're gonna get the, you're gonna, you're gonna catch this guy. Yeah. This is Brittany. This is Brittany. This is Brittany. This is Brittany. This is This is Brittany. 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 This is you guys are gonna catch that. You got a fucking hammer. Do you want one more? Yeah. Just take it yeah. Yeah. We were just like that table. Just let it out now. This is it. You're all done. <laughs> are you doing this? Send, Party lap. Send it up those hills. Charge those down. Probably not for quite a few hours. Just be careful. It's still dark. You know. This is it now. You've made it. No issues. You have nothing wrong. You have no reason that you can't just go balls to the wall right now. You're empty. Uh, for the Hurt 100, it's something that has excited me for a few years now. It's kind of what got me into running, just checking out these trails in my backyard. Um, I was in awe of some of these guys and girls that would come out here and run all day. Uh, so after I got picked uh, in the middle of August, I was super stoked, changed my race schedule, and now I'm ready to get to work. Uh, next few months are going to consist of a lot of miles on Tantalus, a lot of strength training, trying to get faster and stronger uh, so I can finish this 100 and do it to the best of my ability. A challenge means a lot to me because some things are not obtainable, but you wonder if you can obtain it, where, you know, you hear it's impossible. Is it though? Is something truly impossible or have you just not put the time and work in? And there's only one way to find out. Uh. Only hope I had was selling dope Was on my grind cause times was harder than the sell a flow My mama told me never steal and never tell them folks I grew up looking up the niggas that was selling coke Oh, I was raised by the stop sign No religion, I was getting saved by the Glock 9 By the minute I was getting paid like the hotline Serving rolling, fiends was calling 
we was that kind, well connected, well respected and well protected, and get accepted, was rejected, now they regret it, and get my message, was the signal when I was texting, the niggas I was calling was fraud, and I learned my lesson, now I move with aggression, use my mind as a weapon, cause chances are never given, they took them like interceptions, so throw that pass, I be the cornerback, me and Valorant, them MG gon' bring that warner back, but I am A dream, a dream, though it's harder to live. They gon' love me for my ambition. Easy to dream, a dream, though it's harder to live. They gon' love me for my ambition. Easy to dream, a dream, though it's harder to live. I think I've been on these trails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know these trails. Yeah, I know these trails. <laughs> Enjoy your little ride. I'll be here. And I'm going to ditch this. I guess you always. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Anna. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll be back in a little while. <laughs> I'll be back in a little while, guys. A few hours. Yeah. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Get out there, man. Oh, I need a kiss, Felicia. Felicia, give me a kiss. Oh, yeah. So much. Love you. Hard to fucking kill, baby. Hard to kill. Go get it. Good luck, Eric. So, let's go. Nine. Go, Sergio. Go, Sergio. Go, Sergio. for the race it was like it was so fucking locked in you hear about that mamba mentality and stuff and it was just lock it was fucking blinders on locked in on the task at hand Go, bro. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. In your one there? Yeah. Going a little fast. La la la. Powder. You might need to retake this toe. It was to the point where the body was hurting, man. Like, the feet were in pain. It was to the point where, like, each step hurt. It was dealing with that little bit of pain that was really a lot of bit of pain, but just dealing with it and just letting it go because the pain, it's going to stop once you get to that finish line. So the faster you get to the finish line is the faster that pain stops, you know? And I remember, like, qu quite literally just slamming my feet into the ground over and over and over in a pretty painful manner but tuning that out and once you get to that 
limit of pain your body can feel it can't there's no feeling more pain it, you're just there and it's all right just you know, i just got to tolerate this you know just deal with this for a little bit this is a, this is a push yeah this is time and then, we haven't pushed yet and then it's the set so it's the pushing up so that you can set okay well he's right. like he's like oh they're they're in rough shape i go that's just what i needed to hear yeah hard to fucking kill yeah. nathan was 30 minutes ahead of you What are your goals? What are your expectations? What do you want to get out of this? And what I wanted to get out of this was first and foremost was leave everything out there. I don't want to do this more than once. This is something that I want to give my fucking all at. So I wanted to make sure I couldn't have done it a second faster. I want to make sure that everything I have is out on that mountain. Hero, nice job, good job. Back to the party. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Finishing up lap four, I was drained at that point. Like, I was pretty much at my limits, or what I thought my limits were. So I get into the aid station on the final lap, and I see someone pass me leaving the aid station. I don't think much of it. But then everyone says, that's third. And I'm like, right there? That just passed, you know, he was like, yeah, he left the aid station 10 minutes ago. Everyone was amped up. They're like, go get him. Go get this guy. And that was the mission on the final lap. We got to pass this guy. We gotta catch him and we gotta pass him. I ran like hell to that first aid station. Never saw him. I didn't see him until I got to the aid station and he's sitting down with his crew. And then I got my rowdy boys. They're like, go get him, go for the kill. You're hard to fucking kill, man. I didn't wait. I got in and out of that aid station. As soon as he, as soon as I got in, I left because now it's race time. Go! Woo! Hard to fucking kill, baby! My boy said, "Go get him." We didn't wait at that aid station. We got the hell out of there and we passed him as soon as we left that aid station. As soon as I passed him, I said, "Let's go. We're not getting caught now." So with a seven-mile stretch left is give it all you got. I did not want to get caught. I had something that I wanted that I got and no one was going to take that from me. I did not know I was going to podium this race because I was running so damn scared until I got to the bottom of pipes here at about mile 99.7 and it hit me. I'm gonna podium the Hurt 100. Holy shit. In this one stretch, heading towards the finish line, it was hitting me, little by little. Like I said, like, I visualized everything for this race. One thing I didn't visualize was turning that corner at the McKinkie Nature Center. seeing my team 
shouting and screaming and that energy is something you can't duplicate. That's not something you can predict. That's not something you can think about. So I rang that bell like hell and kissed that sign that says, we wouldn't want it to be easy. And fuck that felt good, man. This is why we do this shit. Cause this shit feels good. And you know, after fuck months of training, this was years in the making. Thank you. What's up, her Ohana? <laughs> Where are you from? Her? One mile down the road, Makiki. Makiki, this is my backyard. I live here, baby. I live here. What's the biggest challenge other than chasing this guy? Lap six. <laughs> oh. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> 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 lap six. <laughs>